Hi, I'm James A. Trace, author of the book, Don't Stop Your Mind. One of the questions that's been raised in the many comments uh, to the other vehicle, uh, videos in the YouTube series uh, has to do with my comment about gravitationally trapped light. Uh, as you might imagine, I get comments from the whole uh, gambit uh, of people uh, those that have uh, little scientific knowledge and those that are scientists. I've gotten comments from physicists and biologists and um, uh, people in the uh, various fields of religion. One of the questions is the reference to gravitationally trapped light. And I want to comment on that. We see in what a scientist calls a black hole exactly that gravitationally trapped light. Light from a star that uh, passes within too close a proximity to a black hole uh, has its light and actually its energy drawn off and pulled towards the black hole. When it reaches what is called the event horizon, it takes on the appearance of matter or particle Literally, the appearance of matter is formed as a result of gravitationally trapped light. <clears throat> now, what is interesting is that on the other side of the black hole is a white hole. So a black hole, in truth, is a portal to another uh, universe, uh, another dimension of uh, reality, another dimension of actuality. And this exists throughout the universe. Uh, <clears throat> physics is correct when they speak about the many worlds theory of quantum physics. Um, this arises incidentally from Bell's theorem, which uh, uh, postulates whether or not local causes exist. And Bell's theorem goes on in a progression of logical uh, 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 statements to make such a determination. So, uh, the physical universe that we recognize is really results from uh, a transfer of energy into a black hole and out of the other side of that black hole, emerging from then what is a white hole into newly formed um, matter, and I put matter in quotes because as we already know, matter does not exist.